As always, if you like this, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. One of the biggest surprises in a female-led relationship is the uh, change in intensity in the spankings that women get when they realize they are in control and when they realize that men will only respect them when they are in control. So what I have heard and seen personally is that men will get into a relationship where they think the woman will be, uh, you know, sexy and you, you get a spanking and it, ooh, yeah, you go over her lap and she taps you and, you know, then you make love and everything is great. And I've seen this in domestic discipline relationships and in uh, female-led relationships. And it's the same thing. People think they're sexy and cute and whatnot. And especially if your partner, the female, is um, not of the kink persuasion, but wants to try this type of lifestyle. So what will happen is that you get the first spanking and she's a little uncertain and hesitant and, you know, it's a little tap and, you know, everything's okay and then you make up and everything's great. What happens is that on the second or third time, basically the, the actual instinct to correct and to discipline the husband or the, the, the other, the male partner or just the submissive partner in the relationship, that the discipline becomes real. And so what happens is the first spanking is kind of, you know, tap, tap, and you might have a set number, say 10, and it, it's like a, not quite like a school paddling or anything like that. It's like a, you know, a, a sexy, fun spanking. And uh, the results don't happen. Quite frankly, they, they do not happen. So it ends up being cute, and then you get people who become, uh, they, they kind of brat, and they try to get into that situation again because it's fun. It, it truly is. It's fun to play around with. It's a great dynamic. What will happen in a real female-led relationship is that the second or third time she has to spank you for something, it becomes a serious spanking and you don't enjoy it and you end up uh, very, very sore. And it's uh, just a night and day difference. I have no idea. I used to like the little sexy spankings, but no, the, the, the real ones are real and um, they are intense. And it's always shocking because it's always the quiet ones, shall we say. It's always the quiet ones who carry the biggest stick and they, man, whew. And ladies, if you're listening to this, I, I want to stress to you that guys respect that. Um, men will definitely respect that. So, so will your partner if you're lesbian, ladies, or ladies, ladies. Nobody likes a dominant who is not dominant. If, uh, if <laughs> I forgot who said it, but a comedian one time said, you know, if someone's going to sit on your face, a guy will want you to sit on a face. And if that's the last thing we see, we are happy with it. We are very happy if that's the last thing. If we die that way, just know we're going out dying happily. Yes, because believe me, there's there's definitely more interest in the intense than there is in these uh, kind of, you know, soft-spoken and shy. And yeah, no, when it comes to things like, like spanking or sex-related, the dominance is hot and sexy and just commands a lot more respect, a lot more respect. So if you're going to take the time to spank somebody then you better take the time to really spank somebody and really drive the point home. Don't tap. Nobody likes being tapped. It's not fun. It's not productive. It's, uh, if you're tapping, it's, it's for, you know, sexy time, not for punishment. So yes, just take that advice. Tapping, no fun. If you're going to spank, really spank. And if you're going to spank, really spank hard hard and just make it count and that's all I have to stress.